Hello everybody, DeFudge3004 here. So I thought I would continue this series on 7 Days to Die. And let's see what we have and what we need. Okay, our food and water is good, our wellness is good, our level is 7. We need to get a little more levels. And let's go out and see what we can find. So it's already night time. And we are going to go and see what we can do. So I'm going to go and take out my torch, wherever my torch is. Torch, where are you? There you are. Okay. And let's go into town over here and see what we can find. Hopefully we can find some pretty good stuff. Uh, let's do this hardware store first. Oh, 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 and see if we can... Get this guy out of our way. There we go, he's dead. He doesn't have anything. All right, let's see if we can go into this store and find out if there's anything in here worth getting. I am sneaking, so that way maybe I won't be seen quite as easily, and let's see what's in here. We need to take our bandage. Oh, that was close. And we need to run backwards. Okay. Yikes. That was not good. We almost died at her hands. How do you like that? First, let's get rid of Nozzle Brain over here. These guys are not good. Get rid of them. Well, this is apparently a bad time to come out, eh? Yes, it was. All right, guys, we'll be going here in just a minute. <coughs> Hope you guys can see this, okay? I did turn the gamma up some so at night you guys can see. Mainly I want to get rid of that dog. Let's forget about this wandering horde. These guys ain't going to matter right now anyway. So let's just try to lay low for a minute and let's see if we can make any feathers. Uh, any feathers, any arrows. Um, we can make a few. So let's just go ahead and make what we can. We is probably going to be in needing them. And so I will be right back. Okay, we're back. I hope this helps you guys to see. So you guys can actually see what's going on. 
I would use a torch, but that would just help them to see me better, and I really don't want to do that. So let's not do that. Let's quit wasting arrows while we're at it. Okay. Let's see if we can get this doggy. Okay, we should be able to get this dog out of our hair. Well, not that he's in our hair, but you know what I mean. He's doing the old spin move. How do you like that? He's dead, man. These guys can be very devastating to you because they can make you bleed and all kinds of stuff. So you don't want to be just having these guys wandering around. So it's a good thing he broke that door down. And now let's see if we can make some bandages. So let's go to science. And let's go and make like three bandages. And we're going to put them here on a bar so that way we have them. Okay, we have a few, so that will help stop the bleeding. It won't heal us, but it will stop the bleeding. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, now we need to see if we can get rid of a lot of these guys. She just lost her head. Now, for some reason, they are not coming in so clear, and I don't know why. Yep, there she is. Okay. So let's just go and put a torch down here. That way we can see them. I don't know why she, they're different colors. Okay. Let's see if we can get in this box. And hopefully get some good loot. That's not what I would call good loot, but you know. Guess everybody has a different idea of what good loot is. And see if we can avoid any more zombie troubles for a few minutes. Oops, hit the door. Okay, gonna bust this box down. <laughs> Get out of here. Those guys can pound on that brick wall all they want to. Let's get you out of here, bud. You don't need to be trying to kill us, okay? Okay. Not exactly what I would say a lot of fun, but you know. This guy sure are pounding on stuff in there. Disturb tourist. Let's see if we can finish this off here. Oh, wait a minute, there's a bench. I even saw that, and I just... Okay, cool, a working bench. Yay, that's good. Okay, let's use that. Let's... Okay. Ooh, a sledgehammer. And these loot crates right here can be some of the best things in the world. They can give you a lot of good stuff or they may have absolutely nothing. There's another really, really good way to get cloth. And the way to do that is curtains. 
you can get a fair amount of cloth pretty quickly if you if you hit the curtains so don't be afraid to do that because that's a really good resource right there and sometimes it can save you a lot of trouble from finding cotton unless you want to turn it into seeds i mean that's you know something that you guys can choose to do if that's what you want to do i just want to try to make stuff as fast as i can so i don't have to worry about it so um yeah let's it's almost daytime and Probably gonna have to turn the gamma back down a little bit. Okay, headlight. That's one of the mini bikes. So let me just come in here real quick and I'll be with you guys in just a minute. Okay, we're back and I went ahead and turned the gamma back down since it will be daytime. Don't wanna have you guys squinting while you're trying to watch the video. So let's see if we can get in here. We'll know in a minute if anybody heard us or not. Ooh. They heard us all right. He's gonna help us break down this door, man. You wanna help us, buddy? There are a group of people out there, just certain people that say you cannot use melee very effectively. I disagree with that. Okay, that's a challenge. Cool. I really disagree with that because you can use melee. You just have to do it right. Ha ha. Popped her noggin. Okay. Let's do him. All right, didn't pop his noggin, but that's all right. Don't have to pop everybody's noggin. Okay, make sure that there ain't no stragglers around here. Get into everything that you can find. Nothing. All right. I think there's somebody walking around outside. There he is. Somewhere outside there, there's somebody walking. So we just kind of need to really make sure we sneak really good. Luckily, they can't hear me talking, so that's always a good thing. That would actually make for a much, much harder challenge now, wouldn't it? Okay, sometimes I don't know why I don't do things the easy way, but whatever. So I'm going to see if I can and show you guys what I mean by that. We don't need no stinking rotten meat. Or badges, for that matter. So, we're going to get rid of this, and, hey, an oven. How do you like that? Right in the middle of the room. I am going to go ahead and do this, and we'll come over here, and this is what I mean by doing things the easy way. I always go through that metal door. It's right over there, but I think the best thing to do is just come right through here. Didn't see this until right now, and it was apparently wasn't paying attention. Oh, there's a chair there. Maybe that's why. All right, fine. We can always get rid of the chair, or we can even go over the chair. All right, just make sure there ain't nobody else in here. All right, we're just gonna have to get rid of you, buddy. And yeah, that's fine. We got a little bit of iron and a little bit of uh, leather. So that's all right. The paper we'll need for shotgun shells when we start making that. So we haven't made that yet. That's a save. That's going to be really hard to get into. So we're not going to do that Ooh, right now. If I have read these, it would say known. So I have not read that. So I'm going to read that guy. Now I can make the leather hood. And let's go and see if we can make it upstairs. There should be an upstairs right over here or... Okay, maybe I have to go outside. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's try to get out of here safely if we can. Man, nothing. There is nothing in here. Well, there is stuff in here, just not very much good stuff. Okay, that's why this is just a single story. Apparently I wasn't paying no attention when I was going in there, so... 
That's brass. Iron arrowheads. We can actually use those. And you already spawn in there, honey. That's what it is. I'm gonna repair this guy and oh man. Well, she's gonna have me there for a minute. Nurse, I need help here. I will try to do some melee for you guys to show you guys that it can be done. Because like I said, there are people out there that think that melee cannot be done. And they are not right. You can do it, you just got to know how to do it. So one thing to know when you're doing melee is back in, back out. Back, go in, back out. Okay, let's use her as an example. Hey, friend. Get her. Now, the best thing to remember is you gotta watch your stamina. So if you don't watch your stamina, you're gonna end up running out of um, energy, and then you won't be able to move. So... Always watch your stamina. And the club actually works really good for that. So, you know, we just got to remember to watch our, our, our stamina the whole time that we're doing it. Um, we are going to need a wrench to be able to take apart this to get stuff. So, stuff like springs and mechanical parts, electrical parts, stuff like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some running around and just see what all we can find. Now we have a steel um, pick in our chest that we got the last time. Unfortunately, we cannot make steel stuff. So that's going to be quite a ways later. For one thing, we haven't even made a forge. So, um, we do have a little bit more of that, but we need a short iron pipe. That's the main thing that we're, we need to be look. I need to be looking for, for this, for you guys, to show you guys. So, you guys can see this when you guys do this. Um, short iron pipes are not hard to get. You just gotta find them. That's the one problem with them. Check this car real quick. Okay. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. Okay, we're going to scrap this. We can use that. This is good. And we're going to take that. And then we're going to come back in here. And let's go ahead and put the headlights. We can get those once we get a wrench. This. Um, this. 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 Oh, we can drop that chrysanthemum seed. We don't need to grow any chrysanthemums right now. That I know of in the egg. We don't really need that. Okay, how is our stuff doing? We need to probably eat and drink. So, we're going to eat one of those. And we're going to drink at least one of these. And we're going to have to get some more water. So, I think we have some in the... Uh, cooking pot that we have in our place but we're gonna have to go see now we can get in here but I'm gonna tell you the best way to do this is if you have frames wood frames okay so come over here and let's put the frame right there and I'll put another frame in here oh shooty doodles we're gonna need another one aren't we okay and we're gonna need Let's just go and make four frames. Okay. Get on our bar. Jump up here. Okay, now we're up here. Hey, bud. How are you? 
It's good to see you again. Haha. Uh -huh. I mean, it was good to see. Yeah, that's it. It was good to see you again. It isn't anymore, but it sure was at one time. Okay. Gather any resources that we can. How much? Okay, we can make 12 more arrows. So let's just go and do that to get some. Oops. What am I doing? Get some more resources out of the way so we have room. And hopefully we'll find a short iron pipe because once we do, we can build the forge and then we will really get going. But first we gotta get it. So um, I have actually spent the night up on one of these and it seemed like a good idea until they busted everything down and I do believe I died if I remember right. But that was on a single player game quite a while back. I'm on a single player game right now, but um ooh, short iron pipes. Yes. All right. That's what we needed. That's the one thing we were looking for. But you know what? We're in here, so let's just go ahead and see if we can get this stuff going to scrap that doorknob. Let's just go and scrap this doorknob. Take these because we can build with those. So, hey, buddy. How are you? Dead, I guess, right? Okay, yes, yes, you are dead. Blue, we can make duct tape with that. Sleeper zombies are really hard to get used to. I usually forget half the time, and the rest of the time I don't remember. So I guess that means that I forget a lot, right? That's what I'm going to say. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay. There was one time I actually had a guy in there. So I don't know what he was doing in there. Probably hiding. I don't know. But yeah, he was in there. We just waiting for me to come out. Okay. They cannot actually get in here without breaking stuff or something like that. So let's um, actually I'll just show you guys the pick because the pick is actually really good. So this is going to break down this door a lot faster. The pick is just like it is on Minecraft. And it's going to do a much quicker job than like, you know, the shovel or whatever. Okay. Cool. He has some decent stuff. All right. Let's try to get back in there and see if we can get something. Man, he broke that door down fast. Okay. You zombies. Are you on nerdy glasses? I don't know why I'm taking dirty glasses, but whatever. There's a chunk of concrete missing there, man. All right, there's nothing in here that we really need. Those things are just scraps, so. <coughs> um, and there's this wall safe. They are really hard to get into. You gotta use your pick and bash on them for days. Okay. So let's go ahead and pick up these rocks and we will be heading back home here in just a little bit and see if we can quite possibly um, start making the forge. It'd be good to have a good place to build the forge at so that way it isn't right by our base because the zombies are going to sense the heat and come to it or come find us. So that's why we need to make sure that we build it a little ways away from our base. Okay, so I cannot put that in there because this block is taking up spaces. So what I have to do is like that, and then like that, then we'll get up here. Okay, now if I crouch, pick up you. Okay, we'll go to three. And let's go see what we can find. Okay, 
So we have this, so that can go in there. We also have the egg. We can always come back and get stuff too. So, um, let's just go ahead and make that. And let's take the animal hide. Now she, let's just turn that into leather. Okay, the, the, oh, sweet food, yes, the headlight we can get pretty much anywhere. We need food. Let's see if we can get that deer. Remember to watch your stamina, the blue bar, for those of you who have not watched this. Come on, dear. Come to Papa. I don't really need to be chased all around the county, okay? Plus, I wasn't too sure that we were actually going to get him. Okay, Mr. Deer, look. We need you to go bye-bye, okay? Hopefully he will be dropping soon as he bleeds out, because they do bleed out. Oh, nice. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. Just lead them over here a little bit. So if we don't get to that deer here pretty soon, we are going to regret it. Okay, let's see if we can get him now. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, we are dropping stuff because I forgot that we just don't have room. Okay, we're going to go wham, 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 wham. Okay, um... I'm going to come over here, we're going to go and pick up all of this stuff that we can. And we're going to see if we can get some more stuff from that deer. Darn it, I wasn't thinking ahead, now twer I. Okay, come on, we got to pick stuff up. Luckily, you can run backwards in this game fast. So, that's a good thing. So, um... Oh, man, okay. Well, we did get some meat, so that's that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Let's get back home. Okay, I don't think they saw us. So let's just really quietly try to get stuff in here. Okay, good. We have some more meat in here. We Now we have three eggs, and so we can get some more. And I'm just going to get rid of that, and then we will put the leather in there too. Okay, now we should have enough leather, and we have that. So now let's go ahead and make the bellows. So we're going to go to here, and we are going to type in bellows. So we need to make these. Did we make the bellows? I do not believe so. Let me just double check to make sure. Okay, we have another pick in here. Oh, I 
forgot we had another pick in here. Okay, fine. Um, bellows, bellows, bellows. Do we have some bellows? We ba 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 ba. ba. I do not see any bellows. Do you guys see any bellows in here? I don't see any. So I guess we do not have the bellows. Good. Okay, I don't want to waste the materials making the bellows. Okay. Craft that, and we need another iron pipe to be able to make the forge. So, that means that we got to go back out and somewhere, somehow, some way, find another iron pipe. That won't, shouldn't be too hard. I'm not going to say it won't be. It just shouldn't be. Okay. So, let's go ahead and eat one of those and drink our last water. Okay, and then we'll go into here. We have one water left, and um, we don't have any snow that we can eat that I know of because you can take the snow and melt it into water and obviously make water with it. So I'm going to make bottled water with it. So let's see what well we can do about that. Now I do know we went up there the last time so do we have any more jars in here? Um, I don't see anything. All of our jars are on us. Okay. So let's go over there and get some more water. Okay we have the bellows. Now we need a lot of stone and we are going to hopefully see if we can get this built. We need one more short iron pipe to be able to make the forge. We can put the forge anywhere. They will not attack the forge unless it's in their way. As in like, you know, they're trying to get past it and they will attack it. But the forge is somewhat decently strong. I'm not going to say that it is strong, but it is somewhat decently strong. So I don't want to put it where that bench is because if they decide that they want to go through that wall they will go through the wall okay so like i said we're gonna need quite a bit of rock so do this get the water and we're gonna need wood for burning in the forge whenever we get that far oh boy okay Let's get the water. There might be something in there. We're going to have to go look here in a minute or two. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, boy, I almost fell. That was close. I thought for sure I was going to fall and break my leg. Okay. Now, try not to fall, the fudge. and sneak and see if we can we cannot get in there that way okay so something to know is these will keep you from getting hurt if you fall from a long distance so you guys can actually get up quite high and jump off them and you will not get hurt so try to keep that in mind they are good things to have around and the guy that I watch, he actually did a test and he survived a long fall. So, let's just go ahead and take those for right now. Okay, good, we still have room. And let's just see if we can get rid of these guys. One down. Yep, didn't hit him quite right. Did that to, Oh, shoot, that scared me. I saw that bush come for me. It scared the shnikey wobbers out of me. Okay. Don't need the moldy bread. I mean, we could, but I don't see any... Or not the moldy bread, but the sh old sham sandwich. But I really don't see a reason to. All right, we're going to try to go through this wall here. Or maybe through this wall here. Don't want to destroy the ladder. And something that we can do too is put 
the frame down there, use our trusty axe and upgrade that. Okay. If we had some paint, we could paint it and make it look all party, but we don't have any paint. We don't have a paint brush, even if we did have paint, so. Okay. Let's see what we can find. And by find, I mean not find zombies. Fix that, pick up that, so they don't like, you know, decide that, hey, let's destroy some of this. Dummy can't get back down. I heard something. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I most certainly did. All right, melee time. A lot of times when they fall down like that, it's time you go in and crush them. Crush their dreams. Okay. <sighs> I fell off there, but I'm going to be okay. Luckily, that window was there, because I don't know if I would have made it out of here alive. Remember to look very carefully around these, so that way... Oh, speak of the paintbrush, and it shows up. How do you like that? Okay. Well, there's no short iron pipes in here. So let's get the heck out of here. Well, that was worth a try. Let's see if we find something in here. And there's this guy here. He doesn't know where he's going or what he's doing. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't know we're here and he's just pretending to not know that we're here. Okay. Well, we're going to loot this. We need to find stuff. Okay, nothing there. Scrap that. Okay, do we know that? We do not know that. Now we do. Okay, cool. Now we can do the pistols and stuff like that. Let's get out of here. Makes me nervous when I'm here hearing things walking around all over the place. Okay. Okay, let's go back to our car and let's pick up the rest of our stuff. We may have to end the episode again without finding the stuff for the forge. We don't need that, I guess. Um, uh, we're already full. Okay, let's scrap that. Try to keep at least one slot open just on the off chance that either we find one, a wrench, or two, a short iron pipe. One or the other, it really doesn't matter. And remember to take things out of the trash so they, or any container so they respawn. Besides the containers that you set down like chests or whatever. So let's just see if we can find something because I'm hoping to find it so we can make the forge because I've told you guys we were going to make the forge and we haven't been able to make the forge yet. I am not going to take that right now. I'll come back and get that later. So once we make the forge, then we can start actually getting stuff going. Okay. Um, let's just go and make torches, I think. And we'll make three torches. That'll free up another slot. And let's 
check a little bit more if we don't find one here in just a couple of minutes then we will probably just have to do it next time and again I hate to leave you guys hanging we still have that crate to go to that's out yonder so we need to go and see if we can get it These crawlers are really hard to kill. Even the creator of the game has said that he knows that they're hard to kill. Okay, we'll take those and we'll make those. Um, that, 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 that. Okay, iron arrows hit a little bit harder than regular arrows, so remember to try to keep that in mind. So we can. Come on, pipe, please. Please. We need you. And we're on day five. We gotta think about the horde that's coming. Okay. There's another egg. Let's check this. Come on. A wire tool. I guess that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not what we wanted, but it's not necessarily a bad thing either. Okay, you know what? I'm going to drop the gas in there. So we don't need the gas right now either anyway. So, um... Let's just see if we can find ourselves... Iron pipe. Hopefully it's in like one of these sinks or something would be nice. Like I said, we will see. Remember there are sleepers everywhere and I tend to forget that. Okay, duct tape, pain pill, glass pain, don't need. Okay, come on, pipe. Okay, um, let's just go and drink this, and then we can take this. Okay, you need to be careful. There are sounds I'm hearing, and it's going to be nighttime here. There's the paint. I was just talking about that too, wasn't I? How ironic. Okay, bottom of the fridge, top of the fridge, potato, we can eat that, but not right now, because we're saving that slot, that one slot, for that one thing that we really need. Huh. This house is a little bit destroyed, maybe not by a lot, but just a little bit. Okay, let's come up here. And I'm hoping we can find it. something, anything here pretty soon. This is a very odd place for a bathroom. But then again... Okay, there's a wall safe. Well, guys, I'm not quite too sure how to tell you guys this, but I'm not sure that we are going to actually be able to make the forge again. All right, guys, I'm going to head back to the base, and I guess we will work on this the next time. So I guess that we will talk to you guys next time. Guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you later.